Hi guys, this is Anna. Welcome to my channel. Today I wanted to give you some updates about my pregnancy. I officially started week 19. I wanted to summarize everything for you and tell you about the symptoms, about how do I feel and share that with you. Uh, so first of all, if I could compare second trimester to first trimester, it's much much better. If you are now in your first trimester and you have all of these terrible symptoms, don't worry because it will get better. Uh, it got better in my case, I'm sure it will get better in yours too. I feel much better. I have more energy, I don't feel sick as I did in my first trimester. I felt sick all the time. If you want to know how I felt in my first trimester, you can watch that video and everything will be explained there. Uh, in my second trimester, I felt much better. Uh, all of my sickness pretty gone. I have sickness only occasionally if I smell something nasty. Uh, it doesn't have to be nasty. It's just uh, something what I don't like or something very strong. And I have more headaches, but again, at the end of my second trimester, I don't have as many headaches as I had at the beginning. So I feel pretty much much better than at the beginning of my second trimester. So headaches gone, sickness gone, uh, itchiness, yeah I still have itchy body. I bet it's because my skin is stretching so I have to use a lot of <laughs> this oil uh, which helps me a lot to moisturize my skin and I've noticed that if I apply moisturizer or if I apply any body lotion it doesn't help me as good as oils so I really trust this oil it's very gentle and it smells really really nice it doesn't irritate my skin it's it's just perfect uh, I have used all of this bottle I'm planning to buy another one so when I moisturize my skin with this oil and I usually do that after I take a shower in the evening and I feel really really good and it really helps me. If I forget to moisturize my skin then it's just... I just feel so uncomfortable and I feel itchiness all over my body so I really have to remember about that. As my hair is growing very quick. I don't dye my hair in my pregnancy so you can see I have like really long roots now and I'm planning to to change that soon because now when I'm four months pregnant I know it's perfectly safe to, to dye uh, my hair. I didn't want to do it in my first trimester but I can do it now. It was also a good time for me to uh, leave my hair alone and give them some rest, apply some uh, good conditioners and just, just let them grow. And they grow very very quickly, uh, same as my nails. I don't paint my nails in my pregnancy. Uh, I may start painting them later on when I go on holiday but I don't I don't do this now. Uh, another thing I wanted to talk to you about is a scan. I'm gonna have a scan next week and I can't wait. I'm gonna find out hopefully sex of my baby. So uh, I'd love to I'd love to know if I'm having a boy or a girl. But obviously the most important is the baby is healthy. I don't have really much appetite. I don't eat as much as I ate in first trimester. Even though I was sick, I was actually eating a lot in my first trimester. And a lot of junk food as well. Like sweets or um, chips. Um, and now I, I don't eat that much. I eat four meals a day. And if I want some sweets and I don't buy them, so I try not to have too many sweets at home. Uh, then I just eat yogurt with some bananas or, or any other fruits I have and it works for me. I still have to go to the toilet all the time and that never changed. I, I go to the toilet all the time. Uh, at least once at night, uh, if not twice during the night. And during the day, I just have to go like 
basically all the time, like every half an hour. And I feel so much pressure on my bladder even if I don't want to go to the toilet. So, and I feel, I feel heavier. I put on weight, uh, not much, but I feel heavier when I walk. Uh, my belly is quite big. <laughs> I don't know if you can see. But it's big. And so that's uh, all for today. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed that video, give me thumbs up. Let me know what would you like uh, me to film in the next video. I hope to see you soon. Thank you very much for watching. Bye.